Welcome back to another episode of Strauss Possession. Now, we just left the Elven Tombs, Elven Ghost Tomb. Uh, just so you know, I'm back here in the church. I've had some requests to resurrect the priest, which I forgot to do the first trip here. So, very quickly, we are going to go do such. Um, very quickly, though, I've had some people wonder why my cleric is in the front row. Well, that's quite simple. He can wear plate armor, which is why he has negative six armor. Um, she can not She can wear plate, but now she can't cast spells, which makes her pointless. And uh, also, look at the hit points. 73, 37. So, cleric front row makes sense to me. Now, let's resurrect this priest here. He's in a very early part of the dungeon. Here he lies, yes, it must be. The young priest the old one mentioned. There must be a way to put flesh back on those young bones. Ah, how valuable it would be to hear him speak. Voila! He's the Rod of Rebirth and he bounces back. Let's speak with him. How can I ever thank you for my life? Not only have you rescued me from death, you have brought back my bones from a cursed and fleshless state. I thank the gods I was able to escape Castle Ravenloft, and that I died here where you found me. Um, another thing I want to mention is the dialogue. There's no way to tell which one of my characters are going to speak the dialogue I choose, so I'm just going to use my leader's voice, even though Gloriana and Vilaika might end up speaking it. Well, in this case, they're gonna sound like grown men. By whose hand were you stripped a cursed bone? Who did this foul deed? It was Strahd. You must understand, he is no civil and ordinary count, no mere lord. Strahd is death itself. He's a vampire, he knows Ferratu, a creature of solitary evil, no, feeds on the blood yep. of men and of women. This land will know peace only if he is destroyed, and I will gladly join any efforts in that regard. What events led up to this fate? Your flesh, guts, and tissues brushed aside like dust. Know this. I suspected our Lord Strahd of being a vampire, and so I stole into Castle Ravenloft while the sun burned bright, intent to destroy him. How can I describe the raw, coarse, and scabrous evil, the horror of Strahd's minions as they attack me? It is impossible. I barely escaped with my life. Yet when I reached the church, dusk had drawn its veil across the land, and Strahd was there. How could you, a priest, have gone exactly. into the castle uninvited? North of Barovia lies a barrier, a gate beyond which a path snakes its way to Strahd's castle. I possess the key to that gate. Even in death, I hid it beyond Strahd's recovery. I know not what quest you are about, but as certain as the rising sun, whatever you seek is in that castle. Believe it, Strahd controls, watches, and holds all information and all things of value in the land. True Strahd's authority seems boundless. We can't ask you to join us after what you've experienced, but will you give up that key so that we might visit the castle uninvited? The key is yours. I know you will use it well. And when you come to realize the full horror of Strahd's nature, you will work toward his destruction. I believe it with all my heart. So, it's probably a good idea to resurrect him either way. Um, as you can see, I've cleaned up the inventory a lot. I went back to Barovia and I tossed everything that I assumed we wouldn't need in the uh, tavern uh, excuse me the burgomaster's place where I've been stashing everything I've emptied out a few keys uh, I wasn't sure if I needed any of the church keys so I kept those uh, again we have shields on the mages even though that's not legal in my eyes I'm pretty sure you can't do that in uh, <laughs> any pen and paper D&D &D. 
but whatever. It's giving us bonus. As a matter of fact, it's taking taking uh, yeah one and getting her down two with the magic plus one shield. Um, the bag of holding now has all the boxes in it. These boxes, as you can see, weigh 21 pounds, 10 pounds, 22 pounds, 14 pounds. All of our stuff stashed into a bag of holding, which weighs zero. So now everyone is, of course, very unencumbered, which is good for attack and dexterity reasons. Maintain our dexterity bonus, no armor check penalties, things of that nature. Um... If anyone knows what the Elven Crown does, I can't remember. Go ahead and message me, let me know. Uh, it turned out the Elven Sword was not quite as powerful as the Paladin Plus 3 Sword in my eyes anyways. It did uh, one more point of damage, but it was a plus 2 as opposed to a plus 3 weapon. So I'm going to stick with the Paladin Sword. Um, the Rod of Smiting is, of course, one of the best weapons in the game. 4 to 11, 4 to 11, that's a great minimum damage. Uh, it's got 12 charges. Uh, and it's plus 3 weapon. And yes, someone did mention that instead of opening my inventory and dropping items in there, I can just double right click and that drops it in there as well. Thank you for that. That will save some time. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to begin now is the optional werewolf quest. Um, one thing I need to check is to make sure I have all three of the special scrolls, so I'm going to pause for one moment and get those out. Okay, honestly folks, I was missing the scroll of Remove Curse, which kind of frightened me. You need three scrolls for the werewolf quest. The special scroll of atonement, the special scroll of cure disease, a regular scroll of cure disease will not work, and a special scroll of remove curse. Again, it must, it must say special here. Um, I did not have this scroll. Uh, the scroll of remove disease and atonement both are in the church. Uh, the cure disease Remove Curse and Atonement are in the church. The Cure Disease, I can't quite remember where I grabbed it from. Anyways, um, yeah, so I had to go back and look in the church. I found it actually within a couple minutes, but, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, just be careful. Make sure you look around very carefully in there and grab everything if you're trying to uh, complete this game. As I am. Um, and yeah, I would also grab a PDF version of the hymn book or the actual hymn book because honestly, I went back in the room where the scroll was and it's stuck in a corner to where you can barely see it. Like, you, I had to go in and out of the room three times to see it. Now, normally I don't do that <laughs> when I'm casually playing an RPG. Um, the only reason I did that is because I knew it was there. I could see the yellow dot on the ground inside the, um, the dungeon. So, make sure you scour the dungeons. Now let's start this, re this werewolf quest. It's optional, but um, I want to do it for the Let's Play. I am going to head back to the, the west area of Barovia, where the Iblis Caves are where we met uh, one of the first NPCs. Uh, what was her name? The Asian uh, priest lady, and we met Strahd for the first time, who was in disguise. Uh, Ermgard was her name. She was a six-level cleric. That's the area we want to go back to. And uh, if I remember correctly, it is on the west part of the town Barovia, the west exit. So I am going to warp us over there really quick. I'll go ahead and jump in town. Ah, uh, hell, I'll just run for it. Pretty sure I know where I'm going. 
let you listen to some of the MIDI music in town. It's changed a little bit because we're running the Roland processor now. It is a little nicer, I'll give it that. I believe that's it, just straight across. here yeah this is it all right give me one sec I'm actually gonna wrap up this video a little early and we shall be back I kind of lost track of the time